is International Transgender Day of Visibility. To celebrate, rallies took place across the country, including at the Vermont State House. That's where we find NBC5 Sid Bule. Sid, what was the message from the group? Alice, over 100 people gathered here on the State House lawn today, many of them children, even in elementary school. Now, they want to see more protections for transgender youth across the country. They want everyone's help. March 31st marks International Transgender Day of Visibility and outright Vermont's 11th Leadership Day, bringing together legislators and over 100 of Vermont's school children. We want them to have hope, we want them to have equity, we want them to have power, and we want them to see boundless possibilities for their lives. More than a dozen of those students saying exactly why this matters to them. We are here today to fight for our rights and try our hardest to teach the older and current generations that we are here, we are queer, and we will not back down. Urging Vermont to do more as a state to protect its youngest residents. Over the past four, three years, 40 youth in Vermont have committed suicide, and trans kids are almost eight times more likely to commit suicide. Part of the rally calling on everyone to protect young transgender people across the nation, as the Vermont legislature considers two bills related to expanding gender affirming care. We know that having access to gender affirming health care is life saving. Bottom line. Everybody should have the right to have the medical care that they need to live their lives. It's simple. Some opponents say the bill goes too far, limiting parental rights. Both of these bills um, shield exclusively just gender affirming care. That means all other options are off the table and therefore there is only one choice. So that's how the usurpation of of uh, parental rights comes about. And Others saying they're lucky to have their family's support no matter how they identify. My parents have always believed in me that I can make my own decisions and that they will always love me no matter who or what I am. Now, many speakers today shared hardships that they've had with their identities and coming out, but now everyone who spoke did also say they're grateful for those who have supported them in just being themselves. Live in Montpelier, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.